Three weeks from now, the Alberta Football League will kick off. The Red Deer Buccaneers will start the campaign on June 2nd. They'll be looking to improve on a difficult 06 season, and staying healthy will be key. Coming into the 2006 AFL season, the Red Deer Buccaneers were full of confidence, and deservedly so. The prior year, they won seven games and made it to the semifinals. But the wheels came off for the Bucks in 06. They won just three games and missed the playoffs. We had a lot of injuries in there, and uh, last year was going to be our year for uh, making it because we had the um, Nationals in Red Deer, so we really wanted to make it, and we had a few injuries there that kind of put a halt on that, so we're looking to jump back in it this year. One of the injuries came to starting quarterback Josh Aktimichuk, who suffered a broken ankle in Red Deer's second game and didn't return until the last few contests of the season. Red and yay, hut, go, hut. But the fourth year pivot is back to full strength and isn't expecting any setbacks. I've been doing therapy all winter long and hitting the gym, trying to get better. He's a real fighter. Uh, he's a real team guy and, and he works hard at what he does. Uh, the last three games that he was in, it showed. I mean, we absolutely destroyed the three teams that we played and a lot of it was due to him. In Aktimichuk's absence, the Buccaneers' offense struggled, scoring 22 points a game, which put them sixth in the league. But with a full roster, they're anticipating they'll considerably improve on that number. For whatever reason, we got in the red zone and we just stalled. We just couldn't get the ball across the goal line. And we had our chances. We had our chances to win games. I think of the three of the four games that we lost at the beginning of the season, we lost by a total of 12 points. The Bucks have been practicing for the last few weeks, and Aktimichuk says he's already building a good rhythm with his receivers. The guys that have been in the past, yeah, definitely very comfortable with them. The new guys one step behind. I mean, uh, you give them a couple more practices and they're all going to be the same. It'll be hard to pick, you know, who's the number one receiver on our team. This is my third year and he's been here for a while, so we know each other pretty good. We know where each other's going to be in certain situations and we're uh, pretty acquainted with each other, so yeah, it's, it's going to be good. And if the Buccaneers can keep their QB on the field instead of on the sideline, it should be a much improved season.